After the breaking news, shock and sadness after police say a man killed his wife and two children and then took his own life. A family found dead inside the Bradford townhomes in East Tulsa. The only witness, a two-year-old girl. The child's mother spoke exclusively to Two News. Preocupada, luego cuando me llaman y me dicen que la esposa estaba muerta todo, pues yo no sé, sentí que el mundo se me vino encima por luego por mi hija. Two News reporter Liz Bryant is live near 21st and Highway 169 with a Two News exclusive. And good evening, Karen. The shooting inside this downstairs apartment. Police believe it happened about 930 last night. At least that's when neighbors heard what they thought were balloons popping next to them. Sadly, the truth is it was the execution of four people. Let's take you to the scene overnight. Now, police say that the man, the estranged husband, wasn't a drinker. He didn't do drugs and he didn't have any anger issues. They can only point to an argument about the five year old daughter not wanting to go to school yesterday morning. The couple also had a three year old son. They were estranged the last two months. The wife lived with a roommate who you heard that roommate's two year old daughter witnessed the entire shooting. Niña se puede quedar tramada o yo no sé cómo va a reaccionar mal después. And the man didn't hesitate carrying out his plan. In fact, police say he used two guns after one ran out of bullets. The family from San Marcos, Guatemala, so we aren't releasing any pictures or names until everyone is notified. Right now, the consulate, the Guatemalan consulate, is trying to find this family after Tulsa detectives turned everything over to them this afternoon. Live in East Tulsa, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.